Today on Trail Tracker, we're going to take a closer look at a bike park that many people overlook when they visit Les Portes du Soleil. Morgin is a beautiful traditional Swiss village just across the border from its perhaps more well known neighbour, Chatel in France. I'll admit that on paper, with just one chairlift and four downhill trails, it simply doesn't look like Morgin can compete with its much bigger and more famous neighbours in France. But Morgin's different. This bike park is almost all single track. All killer. No filler. And there's no one here. This was the longest lift queue we saw during our entire stay. Okay, so let's take a look at what this little gem has to offer. The one and only blue trail on the mountain is called La Sarigole. And you know for a fact that it's going to be good when it starts like this. Now, some of the features on this trail might seem a little bit large for a blue, and I would strongly recommend looking before you leap. <laughs> for example, hitting the wrong line on this jump can lead to a very harsh landing indeed. It seems that our nice and easy blue trail is getting tighter and steeper. What an excellent development. <laughs> Jokes aside, this blue trail is absolutely fantastic, but I wouldn't exactly describe it as particularly beginner friendly. Once you're comfortable with the blue trail, and you've taken the opportunity to cool off at the fountain in the village, you should go and check out La Tobogan. Now, I know what you're thinking. If that was the blue trail, how hard's the red gonna be? Let's take a look at how it starts. Look familiar at all? Yes, more of those amazing berms, but not a lot that's a great deal more challenging than the blue. Oh yes, I almost forgot. For the brave and or skillful, there's a pretty daunting looking road gap. When you get to the woods, the trail splits into two. Personally, I was really into the rooty left hand option, which Eve unfortunately had a bit of a falling out with early on. Got! Eve, however, preferred the faster line that skirted the edge of the woods, so there's definitely a bit of something for everyone. This next traverse across the mountain has to be one of the most addictive sections of trail in the whole bike park. Let's call it high speed roller coaster flow. And just when you think it can't get any better, you head back across the mountain towards the lift for more of the same with the added bonus of some sweet drops. Mountain biking heaven.
The second red trail on the mountain called La Mazza is a connector from the top of the blue to the roller coaster section we just saw on La Tobogan. It was raining pretty hard on the day that we got here and this trail definitely didn't dry out as well as the others, which really hit my confidence. <laughs> but thankfully Eve was here to step up to the plate and send the jump that I couldn't. But even Eve had second thoughts when it came to the big sender gap under the lift. I guess that's just something that we'll have to wait for another time. That just leaves us the black trail to look at. The entrance to which you can find just after the road gap. Now again, I hear you asking, how hard must the black trail be? Well, the answer is... Very hard indeed. This trail is pretty damn gnarly in places. And although I made it down, my approach didn't deliver a great deal of flow. The features were so far out of my league, they weren't even worth contemplating. This bike park definitely punches way above its weight. And I really don't think that a trip to Port du Soleil would be complete without a visit to Morgeon. So next time you're nearby, make sure you take the time to sample its many delights. Thanks for coming along, take care and I'll see you next time.